Are you sitting on a gold mine of old blog posts that could still drive traffic? In this video, I'll show you how an AI tool can transform your outdated content into fresh Pinterest pins. It's going to boost your reach and bring in new traffic automatically. Okay, before I get things started here, usually when I release a video on a new AI agent, it's ready to go and you guys can use it immediately. This one's a bit different. Pinterest has to approve all apps that use their API. So this feature is currently in the approval process. When you want to be informed when it's ready to be released, you can register here to your AI agent. You don't have to pay for a subscription yet. You can just get your email into the newsletter. And as soon as we're ready to go, I'll send you the details. I'm hoping it's just a couple days from now. Anyways, I can still show you the process on my developer account. So head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name, email address, password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page. And we want to connect our Pinterest account. So let's click on this button right here. Now we need to name our Pinterest integration. I'll call it my Pinterest connection, then hit connect. We're taken to Pinterest's OAuth screen. And all we need to do is click give access. We're going to take that access code, exchange it for a refresh token so that we can make future API calls on your behalf. If that all worked out in the back end, you'll get a notification that says your Pinterest account has been connected. Let's click OK. And then if I scroll down here, I can see my newest Pinterest connection at the bottom. OK, now on the home screen, we're going to select the new AI agent called blog to pin. Just a reminder that this isn't officially released yet. So please join the waiting list if you're excited to use this agent. It's going to be any day now. Let's click on this. It brings us to the start agent page. And first, let's read about what this blog to pin AI agent does. Blog to pin automates Pinterest marketing by turning your blog posts into eye catching pins. Just provide your blog URLs. And this AI agent will generate pins complete with summaries, descriptions, alt text, and custom images, all optimized to grow your reach and save you time. The first step is to set our content scheduling. How often do you want to take your old blog posts and turn them into Pinterest pins? You don't want to be spamming the platform. So I recommend an interval once every six to 12 hours. Let's keep it on 12 hours. Then you can select your posting days. Let's say we don't want to post on the weekends. Now, every time a new workflow here is started, it's going to create a brand new Pinterest board in the back end. And all these pins are going to attach to this board. What do we want to call this one? Let's say all of my old blog posts are about recipes. I'm just going to write recipes here. Next is the pin title prompt. So it's the input used to generate a Pinterest pin title based on the content of a blog post. It's max 500 characters and the data that's included is the article's text. I start you off with a basic default prompt. Feel free to change this to match your brand's voice. I go create a concise and engaging Pinterest pin title that accurately captures the key focus of the provided article text. Do not use exclamation marks or emojis. Next is the URL list. This is where you're going to input all of your blog post URLs. In order for this section to work properly, your blog posts need to be public facing. So they can't be behind any paywall. For example, on Medium, all of the articles I have here are not blocked by membership. If you had a WordPress website or Webflow website, make sure that's the same. So I'm going to find a recipe one like I was talking about. And here I'll go savor the flavors, delightful haddock and vegetable stir fry recipe for a healthy meal. Let's click on this. I'm going to grab the URL, copy it, paste it into the input box here, hit enter. And then I can do that with multiple other blog posts. This input takes a max of 200 articles at a time. And the AI agent will run through each of these at your chosen interval and turn them into Pinterest pins. Next is the pin description prompt. So each pin on Pinterest has a description. What we're taking is the article's text and the article's title 
and then writing a Pinterest description that's clear and engaging. The AI agent is actually scraping this article, grabbing all the text so it knows exactly what it's about and then uses that to write the Pinterest content. You can use this Pinterest default prompt that I give you or again, you can change it to match what you're trying to pin. Last but not least is the image prompt. So this is how the agent should create its images. This section is done kind of like mid-journey. If you're familiar with mid-journey prompting, you start with a basic prompt of what you want your image to be about, and then you finish it with the visual details. This section is the visual details. For example, bright, eye-catching, minimalist, vibrant colors, clean design, high resolution, etc. We have one last option and that's the font background color. So if I click on this box, I can change this to whatever I want. Let's say bright red. Right now we only have one basic font and it's a white sans font. I'm going to be adding more fonts in the future. I'm also going to be adding a toggle where you can turn off the text on the image. But this is where the magic happens. This uses complete custom code to take your image that we generate with AI. By the way, we're generating images with Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo. So one of the newest Stable Diffusion models. And then we take your title text, we add it onto a colored background, and we put it right on the middle of the pin. I'll show you how that looks in a second. But now we can click Start Agent. It's going to take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your actively running workflows. I'm going to click on that new agent blog to pin. I can change any of my settings while the agent is running. It's only going through one URL. So soon this workflow will be completed. But if there were multiple URLs, I could also add some new ones to the list, change the pin description prompt, change the background color or the image prompt. My pin is ready and I can click on this link to see it. And here's the result, quick and nutritious haddock and vegetable stir fry recipe. And the good thing about these Pinterest pins, you know, we see the description right here, but you could also click visit site and it takes you right to the old article. So when you start getting traffic and impressions on Pinterest and people click on your pins, it's going to take them right to your website. Extra traffic means extra profit. If you want to try the blog to pin AI agent for yourself, you can join the waitlist by going to youraiagent.com. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn them into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.